<clears throat> okay, hi guys, it's Ken Appleby here. Uh, I want to show you a cool piece of software that I just downloaded and used for free. Um, it's for splitting PDF files uh, in case for whatever reason you need to split them up if they're too big and you know, you can do a whole bunch of wicked stuff with this. So let me show you. Uh, okay. It's called, uh, go to pdfsam.org, split and merge.org, okay? pdfsam.org. Brings you to this page. You can click on the 2.0 beta and, or uh, sorry, no, go to click on download. And then uh, I use the 2.0 beta and the Windows uh, 32 installer. Brings you to Source Forge, and then you just click to save the file. Okay, so now when you save the file, all right, you're gonna get something that looks uh, like this. All right, it's a Win32 I NST whatever yada yada yada. Anyway, you install that, and this is what the program looks like: PDF split and merge. Okay, it's a sweet program, man. Loads up. All right. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about it yet, but I just want to show you a couple of the quick features because I was just setting up my Aweber account to um, send out some PDFs to people and um, I realized that they only have a one uh, megabyte limit per attachment per email. So I split it up into a couple and sent them out right away. So go to split, okay, and then you can, these are the options you can use to split the file, like split into single pages, even pages, odd pages, blah, blah, blah. I split by size and I chose one megabyte. Now when it does that, it's gonna be like 1.0002 megabytes. So it won't fit in Aweber, but then I zip the file afterwards. So check this out. One megabyte, add, okay, up here's where your file, your PDF goes, so click add. And then I go to documents, uh, desk, desktop, and then like pick whatever PDF file it is you want. So you say open, it loads it up there. And uh, actually, let me choose a different one because um, Cause that one's too small this one's good okay 235 pages is huge like two and a half megabytes it'll tell you what version they used to encode it anyway you, you pick what you want to do uh i put in the same destination i don't overwrite and i don't like to compress the output file uh i leave it in the same format that i use so that's version 1.3 and you can read that up here and it's right there and then they'll put this prefix on it just so you don't overwrite your file and whatever so then you click run and you can see this progress bar down here. Uh, it just starts working. It's so easy. Gives you the little, lovely little chime. And then you can go and you can see this file and this file were just created. The first one, okay, uh, starts at page zero and goes up to 137, happened to go to 137 pages. Okay, which is uh, page 120 because there's a bunch of stuff before it starts counting. And then the second one goes from 138 which is 120, page 121. And then it goes all the way down to whatever it is, page 235 or something, 220, okay? So then you split it into two pieces. Uh, the program also has uh, some other stuff like merging files. So um, I wonder if we could re-merge it. We probably could do that right here. So let's go ahead and pick that. And I'm gonna go with this one. And I'm going to go with this one. Okay. And I think they do. No, they don't. Ah, that's it. And it finishes for you. So you see what I do is I just select a couple of the files. I put them up there. Um, I tell them where I want the file to go. And I unclick these, uh, go with the compatibility for format. That's what I like to do. You, you can test it and check it out. And then you click run. It gives you the beautiful chime. And there's test right there. So it starts at page zero and it goes all the way down. You can see right here, page two goes up to 235 pages all the way down. Okay, and this is the last one here, page 220. So there you go. It's a wonderful piece of software. I hope you enjoyed this video. You got Ken Appleby.